All right, guys, back here again on my lunch break. <laughs> Remember, I just doing this YouTube channel as a hobby. If you're just finding my channel now, uh, I talk about PC tech gaming related stuff. Been doing this for a little over two months now. It's been pretty fun. Welcome. Now, uh, I want to talk about the new Intel processors and the information we've got from them over the last couple of days. Now, a couple of days ago, we saw some tweets leaking the specs of them, but and, and you know, we had some other people put those into some nice charts that we could look at to compare them with the previous generation. And this is interesting and everything, but it's not the main purpose of my video. And if you follow tech news really closely, you might've already seen stuff about this. Uh, because, okay, sure, looking at specs and numbers and how they compare to the previous generation is somewhat interesting. I am personally a lot more interesting, uh, interested in how do these actually perform especially in games, but also in productivity tasks. And we do have some information about that today. Now, before I get in here too far, I also wanna clarify that like, I'm not team red or team blue here. What I'm looking for is competition. So I do want these Intel CPUs to actually jump ahead of AMD in at least something, maybe gaming because that's where, again, AMD has been giving them a lot of trouble with multi-thread performance for several generations now. But, it, but up until the, the Zen 3 processors came out, we've still had Intel holding, holding that gaming crown with their single thread performance. But now with Zen 3, we've seen them at least tie, uh, if not beat, we've seen AMD at least tie, if not beat Intel in the gaming performance, which is really interesting. But since Intel, again, is gonna be introducing these 11th gen chips, we'd hope to see them at least in gaming overtake AMD again. And I'm not saying that because I'm like, go Intel, I hate AMD. I'm saying that because I'm a consumer who wants to see competition, right? So that's what I'm looking for here. That's where I'm coming from with my analysis. Um, so let's jump into the newer information. So as far as I can tell, this is the original tweet that came out uh, for my Pacific time yesterday, uh, yesterday evening. And well, let's just jump in here. So what is it? It's an Ashes of the Singularity benchmark. Now, some people joke that this is Ashes of the Benchmark. Uh, it is a game, right? It's a game with the benchmark built into it, although very few people play the game. A lot of people just use it for the benchmark. Now, when it comes to leaked information on this stuff, I've reported on these for graphics card leaks before, and I've always been stressed, uh, I've been stressing on the graphics card leaks that this is a very CPU-bound benchmark, so don't read too much into it at the really high-end GPUs because they're probably being held back by the performance of the CPU. Well, since we're talking about CPUs right now, this is actually a pretty good test to use for those exact same reasons, right? Um, so what do we have? Well, somebody spotted this uh, Core i9 11900K at 3.5 gigahertz. Again, that's the base clock, which does line up with the leaked uh, base clock spec that we saw over here. So this does seem to line up. And well, what kind of performance did they get? It looks to be paired up with a 2080 Ti. And we're seeing it with the, looks like a few different scores here, but seems to be the 62 being the best one out of them. So that's the one that people seem to be reporting on, okay? So now what, what can we actually do with this? Well, in the comments, people started looking for the uh, relevant processor step down from it. So like the 10900K, and then people also looked for similar platforms uh, containing the AMD uh, 5950X, their high end from the Zen 3 lineup. Now, again, there'll be links to everything I'm showing you here in the description if you wanna dig into more of the details. Uh, but what I wanna do is jump over to, uh, rather than comparing all this stuff myself, WCCF Tech, once again, link will be in the description, has an article about this, and they've put together a chart using the 11900K results at the 62.8 uh, 62 frames per second, the 10900K, which seems to have been done on the exact same system, which had a 58 frames per second, and you can kind of see the jump there. It is a noticeable jump. And then we've got the 5950X, which as far as I can tell was not done on the exact same system, but was done on a very similar system and the same graphics card. So this would be fairly comparable. So what do we see here? Well, is it ahead of the 5950X? Yes, not by like a huge, 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 huge margin, but by a little bit and enough to, 
probably account for the fact that it's not literally the exact same platform that it was tested on to show that it will probably be winning in this particular test. Now, remember the 10900K was already pretty even, if not slightly ahead of the 5950X in this game. So I think before we, we don't wanna to read too much into this, but we also should keep in mind that I, d I don't think this would mean that the 11900K is necessarily gonna be winning in every single game compared to a 5950X. And again, this is also just gaming. This isn't like your multi-threaded productivity tasks where I have a feeling the 5950X is still gonna probably have the lead. Again, that's just speculation on my part. We need more actual information, right? Anyway. The, uh, l let's jump over to, I, I pulled this up. So this is the tech spot review of the 5950X. And I just want to remind ourselves what its gaming performance looked like compared to the 10900K, right? So in the 11 game average that they did here, the 5950X and the 10900K were basically tied with a tiniest of leads going to the 5950X. But remember that the 11 game average can kind of hide what happens in certain titles. So in certain titles, we see the 5950X with a bigger lead. So like it, uh, in the Sirius Sam 4 Vulcan, we see it up at 130 instead of 115. Um, other titles, they're basically tied. Um, but again, in things like Hitman 2, up at 167 instead of 152. Other titles where it has a small, small but noticeable lead. We see things like Death Stranding, where it's way up at 223 instead of 199. And we could scroll through here and find games where the 10900K has the lead as well. They do trade blows. And again, that's why the average came out uh, with them pretty close. Like here's Rainbow Six Siege, where the 10900K has a pretty healthy lead here, right? So you can scroll through and compare them. But the point is, right, the point is that averages hide a little bit. Um, so there are games where the 5950X has a healthy lead. So what I would take from results like this is that I think that in the games where they were basically tied, where these two were basically tied, like this one, yeah, the 11900K is going to be beating the 5950X. Is that gonna be enough to pull ahead in the games where the 5950X had one of the bigger leads? It was more AMD favored? That. I don't know, maybe they'll come out tied. Maybe the AMD will still hold the lead. And like I said, for me personally, right? The, I mean, this 11th gen is coming out after the Zen 3 did. I would hope to see Intel at least overtake it in certain things. And I have a feeling that on gaming averages, we are going to see it overtaking it. Again, especially since it was already kind of tied with the 10900K and we should definitely see an improvement in the newer gen processor from Intel, right? So I would just say that this seems to be confirming what I'm expecting from the 11th gen processors. I'm expecting them to be a marginal but noticeable improvement over the, the 10th gen. And I would expect in terms of gaming performance that will pull them ahead on average compared to like the 5950. But um, I, do expect there to still be some AMD favored titles. You know, Death Stranding was one where the uh, AMD had a pretty big lead. So, you know, I'm not saying that's gonna get you a win in every single possible game. All right, guys, my lunch break is just about over. So I gotta wrap this thing up and get it rendering. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments section and I hope you have an excellent day.